In 2020, Kyle Trask would become one of the best quarterbacks in college football and was taken in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft. Flash forward two years, and Anthony Richardson has become one of the most polarizing quarterbacks in this year's class. There have been talks of him being the number one overall pick, and while I wholeheartedly disagree with that take, Richardson was pretty good for Florida last year and has a lot of potential in the NFL. If things go correctly, Florida will have had a first and second round quarterback in just three different drafts, which would probably make you think that they have plenty of quarterbacks on the roster, and whoever's evaluating quarterbacks for the Gators deserves a raise. Unfortunately, as we look ahead to the 2023 season, right now the Gators don't really have a quarterback. They brought in a transfer, have a couple of underrated gems, and a former four-star recruit, but right now none of them are really playing that well, and if I'm a Florida fan, I'm a little bit concerned about this year's quarterback position. In today's video, we're going to do a quarterback battle video as we preview each and every player in the running for their starting quarterback position. We're going to go through who they are, why I think they should or shouldn't start, and I'll ultimately give my take as to who I think should be the Gators guy. But before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and let me know what player, topic, team, or quarterback battle I can cover next. Now, let's talk about the Gators quarterback problem. The Gators have had a crazy few months when it comes to quarterbacks, and let's first start with how they did during the 2022 season. Coming out of Gainesville, Florida, Anthony Richardson was seen as the future of the program, but was more of an athlete than a pocket-passing quarterback. He ended up splitting time with Emory Jones in 2021, and had a few moments of brilliance, but never really got to take over fully, because Dan Mullen ended up going with Jones. In 2022, Richardson would end up winning the starting job, where he'd be thrusted into a primetime battle with Cameron Rising in Week 1. He'd end up outdueling him, and they ended up upsetting a top 10 Utah team, which got the Anthony Richardson stock soaring. Ultimately though, the season was somewhat of a disappointment for Florida. Richardson ended up throwing for 2,549 yards with 17 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. He also did a lot of damage on the ground, as he had 654 yards and 9 scores there. Overall, he was more of an athlete playing quarterback who had decent stats and at times had great play, but overall was very inconsistent and didn't really bring Florida to that much success if we're being real. Richardson declared for the 2023 NFL Draft, and with all his hype right now, Florida fans are always going to wonder if they could have gotten a lot more out of him. That brings us to the next three quarterbacks that could have been in the running this year, but ultimately weren't. The first one was Marcus Stokes. Coming out of Nice High School in Florida, Marcus Stokes blossomed into one of the top quarterbacks in the class of 2023 and originally committed to Penn State. After that, though, he decided to reopen his recruitment and ended up flipping to Florida. This was a pretty big get for Billy Napier and the staff, but unfortunately, Stokes would ruin his own career. He got caught saying something he should not say on video, and ultimately, his scholarship was pulled, and Stokes is now going to West Florida. I'm sure he might transfer up a level, but this is a guy that Florida really probably could have used. The second was Jaden Rashada. For a while, Rashada was committed to the Gators, and if you aren't familiar with him, he was at one point ranked a five-star recruit. Florida got him a huge NIL deal, and this lured the California product down to Gainesville. It was reported they had a nearly $10 million deal for him, and he was excited and prepared to be a Gator. He's one of those guys that could have started right away, but that NIL stuff fell through, and Rashada flipped to Arizona State, and now Florida had lost out on another player. The final one is a player I really don't want to talk about a whole lot, as that is Jalen Kitna. He is the son of John Kitna, and while he was only a three-star player coming out of high school, there were some that thought he could be the future of the program, and he at least had enough experience to put himself in position to be the starter. Unfortunately, he was arrested for looking at some pretty bad stuff and was immediately kicked out of school, and he'd have a long road back to college football if that ever were to happen. So at this point, Anthony Richardson had gone to the NFL, Marcus Stokes had shot himself in the foot, Jalen Kitna got, got himself in trouble, and Jaden Rashada flipped to Arizona State. This left Florida in a pretty difficult spot, and that now leads us to their current quarterback room and the different options they have there. Right now we're going to focus on three guys, Max Brown, Jack Miller, and Graham Mert. Those right now are the three options for the Gators, but recently, Billy Napier alluded to the fact that they'll probably take a guy in the portal. He has now said that twice in the last few months, and after their spring game, I don't exactly blame him. Let's first start with the guy who's in third place, Max Brown. Brown was your stereotypical late rising player as he was a part of the class of 2022 and came from Lincoln Christian High School in Oklahoma. He threw for 4,400 yards and 68 touchdowns in two years as a quarterback and eventually blossomed into a mid three star player and chose Florida over Washington. He's one of those guys with a pretty low risk, high reward, as at best he develops into a good player and at worst he transfers away or is a reliable backup. 
somewhat like Kyle Trask. The one problem with Brown though is that he was also a baseball star as he right now plays both football and baseball for the Gators, meaning he's a little bit more behind this spring and doesn't get a chance to fully focus on football. At six foot two, Brown is by far the third option in this quarterback room, and I see no reason why he starts this fall. The next guy we need to talk about is Jack Miller. Coming out of Arizona, Miller actually holds a couple of records there as he broke the Arizona State record with 115 passing touchdowns and had nearly 4,000 yards in his senior season. He was pretty much insane throughout the entirety of his high school career, which is why Ohio State offered him and he actually committed there. He would join their 2020 class alongside CJ Stroud, but unfortunately Miller would get left in the dust. After not playing at Ohio State, he'd get in trouble with the law and ended up deciding to enter the transfer portal where he left for Florida last December. Last year, Miller really didn't play much, but he saw a little bit of action against Oregon State, where he looked like a fish out of water and made a few questionable plays. Jack Miller just does not seem to be an SEC starting quarterback right now, and at this point, I don't even know if he's a Power 5 starter. The most viable current option for Florida is Graham Mertz. He's the transfer quarterback I was talking about, and you're more than likely familiar with him. Coming out of the Kansas City area, Mertz is one of the highest rising quarterbacks in the class of 2020, and at one point was wanted by Nick Saban in Alabama. Mertz had a hot start to his Wisconsin career as he had a nearly perfect game against Illinois, but ever since then, things have been really inconsistent. While at times he made brilliant plays, other times he looked completely lost, struggled with turnovers, and was actually benched on multiple occasions. Mertz started nearly 30 games for Wisconsin and has all the tools and potential in the world to be a great starting quarterback, which is why he decided to transfer to a new school, and Billy Napier took a chance on him. Right now, he is probably going to be the starting quarterback. And while there are some reports out of Florida that he's actually looked pretty decent, there's a lot of concern around Mertz, and if he's going to be their starting quarterback, Florida fans have good reason to be worried. So that leads us to another option, the transfer portal. Right now, there aren't a ton of big Big names in the portal, but that could change as some teams start naming starting quarterbacks and guys leave. But for now, Napier will probably have to get a guy out of the portal. Some options that immediately come to mind that I saw in an article were former four star and Purdue quarterback Michael Alamo, former Penn State and Oklahoma four star quarterback Micah Bowens, and former Old Dominion starting quarterback Hayden Wolf. There's also a chance that one of Spencer Sanders and Walker Howard transfers, and then most recently we saw Harrison Bailey enter the portal, and maybe he gets a chance there. Either way, the portal does not have a lot of great options right now, and Napier is really going to have to figure something out, or it could be a disastrous season in Gainesville. While it was a great first few games start to the Billy Napier era, the end of the season wasn't great, and that fan base is not very patient, and they want to win, and that starts with a good quarterback, and in my opinion, Florida's in trouble. But what do you guys think? If you're a Florida fan, who do you think will win the starting job? What are your thoughts on this season, and who is your favorite quarterback on the team? Be sure to let me know down below, let me know what team I should cover next, leave a like if you want to support today's video, subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.